British MEPs had a frosty reception in Strasbourg this Tuesday. After British PM David Cameron vetoed treaty changes at the EU summit, UK MEP Andrew Duff tweeted that Brits should arrive via the visitors' entrance. I've had an awful lot of uh, comments from some the MEPs about how crazy Mr Cameron's sabotage of British European policy has been. It makes uh, life extremely hard now for uh, British MEPs. MEPs took the opportunity to express disappointment in the UK's isolationist attitude with some heated rhetoric during the plenary. La solidarité n'est pas une rue à sens unique. Je considère que le chèque britannique doit être remis en cause. It sounded in your speech as if you were making a threat to the United Kingdom. Avant Noël, je n'ai ni char ni Kalashnikov. The UK hoped to protect the city with its veto on treaty changes. Belgian MEP Guy Verhofstadt felt they played the wrong hand. When you are invited at a table, either it is as a guest or otherwise you are part of the menu. Alone in Europe, the British PM's own coalition government is in doubt, which could have repercussions for future EU talks. One Scottish MEP went even further. That the people of Scotland would do considerably better representing ourselves, free from London rule, as part of this family of nations. Despite the anti-English talk, most MEPs agreed that the summit failed to solve the crucial problem. The euro remains in danger, but now the UK is without friends in the midst of a crisis.